Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, August 3rd, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Brady, Michael, LeBron, Jeter, some athletes are so great, so far ahead of their time, that they're on a first name basis with the general public. And in bodybuilding, which has no way less notoriety than football, baseball, basketball, being on a first name basis puts you in a rarefied territory. But being an exception to the rule is just part of what Ronnie Coleman is at his core. Even at this point in his career, over a decade into retirement, Ronnie is still arguably the most famous bodybuilder on the planet. The man is single-handedly responsible for changing the way we consume the sport. So even if you didn't get to see him compete, you should still appreciate his greatness because the man is a once in a lifetime talent that we'll never see again. Researchers who study flow and flow states say that we can rarely achieve a state of flow during leisure time. Believe it or not, we only achieve flow during work because that's when we're doing something we find purposeful. But I don't have to be a psychologist to figure that out. I could see it watching someone like Dominic Cardone do his thing. After somewhat of a long hiatus from training lately, Dominic's been trying to work his way back into the flow by doing what he's been doing for more than half his life. For as long as I've known him, this kid has been someone who eats, sleeps, and breathes bodybuilding. So just give him some time, it won't be long before he finds his way back into that flow state again. Click, click, boom. That's the sound of Missy Truscott letting the rest of the fitness division know that she's here and she means business. Over the weekend, Missy released an official update from her road to the Olympia where we see one of the most dangerous women in the game highlighting some of the assets that brought her to the table. As far as the physique is concerned, I think Missy is second only to Oksana Grishina in her prime. And when you're ready to fly that close to the top of the mountain, it feels like it's only a matter of time before you reach the summit. Outside of all my normal work stuff, I'm deep into research on motivation and human behavior right now. And one of the things that I found really fascinating is that research seems to show that extrinsic rewards work best for right-handed algorithmic tasks that don't require a lot of creativity. But when you're operating at the level of someone like Logan Franklin, right brain, left brain, whatever, it really doesn't matter what the stimulus is or how it works at the end of the day, the man knows how to get results. Since he made the jump to classic physique, this is the best look that I've seen from Logan. He's thicker up top, he managed to give his physique a little more balance, and he's still keeping his lines together. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Logan Franklin, and he's on a mission, and he won't stop until he's managed to conquer everyone who stands in his way. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.